All right, hello world. Still doing the chair thing when I sit up for the getting ready. It's all cool though. How y'all doing? Uh, so this stream, uh, what we're gonna do is work on the principle of Dunsendo Discimus. Uh, it's something we started last stream, but uh, it's a basic idea of by teaching we learn. So I've been struggling a bunch trying to go through the official Django tutorial. Um, it just doesn't work for me. Uh, it's too much in t all the wrong ways. And like, it just doesn't click. So last stream, uh, I, I I spent two or three streams kind of messing around with it, um, the, the official one, and just wasn't doing it for me. Uh, and it was frustrating and I wasn't making progress uh, that I should have been making, etc. So last stream, I started building my own tutorial and it's kind of off that principle of to, you can learn through teaching or the, the best way to learn is to teach. Uh, or And then apparently it's Latin, so it goes back for a long time. Yeah, so, oh, Seneca the Younger, um, 4 BC to 65 AD. Okay, cool. So yeah, men men learn while they teach. Cool, whatever. Uh, but so I started putting together my own tutorial because like I'm I'm banging around through the Django the official tutorial, but I'm just kind of zipping in and grabbing parts. Like the the I had started to try and just kind of go through it from start to finish, but I just kept getting frustrated with it. So. Uh, and I've, I did Django, it turns out a few years back, I knew that I had done it, but I didn't make a lot of progress with it. And I think I did actually a treehouse course on it, or that might've just been Python. I can't remember. Um, Django track. Yeah, I might've done this or done part of this. So like, I've got some grounding in it. And I'm gonna, so I'll be bouncing around with it. But that's that's kind of where we got is I, I started building this thing and I'm starting to do it just kind of as a quick start level of like, here's how to kind of bang through stuff. And here's how the way that I would wanna see it. Like for example, with the official Django tutorial, they don't make a homepage. And it's like, as a old school web person, homepage is kind of the first thing, right? That's the first thing you're gonna hit. It's the first thing you're gonna see. Um, and the Django tutorial, when it was building some database stuff, it like, was building two things at once and tying them together. And to me, it's like, no, 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 start with the one thing and get figure it out so that you, you know, don't have to worry about joins to start with. Um, so anyways, that's that's where we are. That's what's going on. And uh, we're just kind of going to walk through it and see to where we are and kind of pick it back up. Um, the And I guess what I should do, yeah, I can, I'll leave this here for now. I've got stream notes sitting here for here. Uh, so pull in notes from part one to do because I'll make just a straight thing of it. Uh, so we've been through all this, like we made a virtual environment, activated virtual environment. We started a Django project, got into it. We did our migrations first, which is another thing like they have you run the server without running the migrations first. So you get all these warnings. And it's like, just run the migrations and tell people that like, hey, this this is gonna just do some stuff with the database. We'll come back and explain that later, but just run this so you don't get a bunch of warnings. Um, then you run the server. Uh, you go to the server. You can see that it's alive. And actually here, let's do this. Uh, let's run the server. So, and I started to make this one for real. Um, Oh wait, toolkit. Right, and that's the one I'm doing. I already lost myself. Yeah, let's see what's up here. Whoops. What just happened? Well, that's not good. Oh, I'm not in the virtual environment. Uh, now 
if we go into toolkit. Yeah, because I'm gonna. I decided I'm actually gonna get, build it for real. So the um, I started to do the sandbox one, and I may still do the sandbox one just to have something to mess around with, and then but do toolkit for real. Ah, let's go to the sandbox. Yeah, why not? Uh, except no, we started to do. Hang on. I don't even remember which one I did. Memory is not the greatest these days. Uh, CD toolkit, right? And then inside, we've got stream ideas coming up. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. So here's our Python manage run server, right? Hopefully it works this time. There we go, sweet. Hello world. Ah, yeah, we got a page up. I don't know where stream ideas came from. Whoa, what was that? Weird, must have picked it. Uh, and so, let's get it come over here. We're gonna go back into Django. We're gonna go back into Toolkit. Maybe that'll work. Bring this up so we can see it. And let's see what we got. What's in stream ideas? Did we make a new? Yeah, we made a new project. Okay, cool. Um, let's actually see where we are in the process. Nope. Probably over here. Uh, toolkit, migrate, run server. There it is. Oh, we built pages, right? Actually, I'm really gonna want that to be in a different uh, in a different browser. So open this. Oh, you know what I should do is make, I won't do it right now, but on my page here, I've got edit that goes to sublime text. I should make one that goes to sublime text too. So I can throw it to whichever browser I want. Uh, so let's do, what's the best way to do this? Open this. I don't have hot, I don't have hot commands for, uh, Django 2 anymore, or Django 2. Uh, doing too many things at the same time. Ah. Sublime Text 2. That was not what I wanted. I want to go into the website so I can get to stream notes. I didn't stream yesterday. Oh, from here. There we go. Now I can see him. And then let me close them out here. Right. That goes away. Okay, whatever, we're cool. Django tutorial, here we go. So we've made our server, we got it up and running. We made pages, right? So, pages, this is where we got our homepage from. Go ahead and put comma after page for a small thing over there. Make a template view. Oh, I feel like I didn't write all this stuff down, which is funny because I would have thought of that I did. Make the template, make the view. Make the pages URL. Oh, okay, wait a minute. So did I, let's see. Oh, I kind of went through this, I guess. Pages comp. Yeah, I was getting kind of burned, so I went through it kind of quick. Um, and I had some questions about whether or not I wanted to, uh, instead of building the full template, you could actually just return a string uh, by changing stuff. And I may go back and fix that, but we're gonna stick with this for now, or adjust, adjust that, but we're gonna stick with this for now. Um, Uh, 
How are we doing? Site root stuff here. Weird. I definitely just poured that all over myself. That's a little cold. Oh well. That was fuller than I thought. So here's like dirt pages in the templates directory. Let me see this. Yeah, okay, so I was putting notes down here. Make the page template directory later. Create super user, okay. Back up here. So we've put pages in, and why would I go back through this in just a second from start to finish and see uh, see what happens to make sure it makes sense. Put that in there in the file. So toolkit pages templates. Whoops. Might as well. show up, right? Pages. Index HTML. This might be an interesting way to do this too, because it's the template, so you might be able to throw stuff at it by coming back to it later, but this gets it live, which is the first thing that I want to see. I, yeah, I actually want to start all the way from scratch. Um, and just get a get a running start at it. Um, and you know what? pretty aggressive but like so we're in a virtual environment we got that going right no we don't not on this thing why not there it is uh yeah, let's get rid of this we'll do it from here so we're in a virtual environment we've activated it what do we want to call this Example. How about that? Crazy. CD into example. Python manage migrate. Python manage run server. Right, I guess we could do 127. That's what's. Yay, there we go. Pages. All right, whatever, it's fine. I don't see anything. So, and the install. Now we need to set it up. So this is all gone bye bye. That's fine. We wanted it to. Close that for now. Uh, 
Oops, did that just... Okay, that's fine. I was messing around with some fine commands earlier, and this is one of the things that got me getting the idea about snippets. So do this, maybe a little bit. Oh, so much bright, it hurts my eyes. It hurts my eyes. Yeah, I don't know about that light. Uh, here we go. Now we can find this. So we're gonna put this in, so we can close that. We got it, thank you. All right, so now we're gonna open that in Sublime Text so we can see this. So inside example settings, right? Installed apps. I'm actually not sure if you're supposed to put it in a particular order. That's the order, whoops. Yes, the order is quite important. And several applications provide various names, temple static language with the application listed first has precedence. This is in 2015. Order installed apps is in is in documentation. Okay. Install it somewhere. Okay, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna put it down there for now. Uh, go ahead with the comma after it. Yep, small thing. Okay. Back where we started. So we're gonna do this. Oh wait, in settings. I think this will be I should make an example site, but that's this is fine for now. Template. Yep, and we're gonna put that in example pages, templates, pages. So now we need to set up the first page, which will go into a template. First, create these two. here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then put that into that. Okay. So touch pages templates pages index.html them pages template templates what is the what did it hit tests ooh i'm looking forward to playing with tests oh try that okay so we're there Here's where I want to go back and actually look at the docs. And 
toolkit paint that to that. Okay, I think we're close here. I, I want to make sure I'm doing an order that makes sense here. Um, first things. You still alive? Yep. Ready for me that doesn't try and start a browser. So this is where it's one of those, I don't have a good understanding of what's going on and I couldn't get it from the documentation. So now that I'm kind of doing my own, my brain's looking at this different um, and I can process this a little bit. So we've made it. See, this is where I have a problem a little bit because it's like, I, except I maybe not because it fires up and it gives you poles quickly. But I kind of want it to actually be the HTML. Cause like it, this, you're not really gonna use this. But in the view, so where's the view that gives you the actual HTML. I think this is the page that pisses me off. Yeah, like all this, all the shell stuff with the database, it's just like, what are you doing? So here's views. Yeah, right views that actually do something. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. And then it goes through all this stuff and then it gives you down here the shortcut of render. All right, so and we don't need any of that. I don't think we need that. Yeah, it renders already in there. So they have you take it out and then do that stuff that you are basically never gonna use. There's only one line, let's just put it in there. Let's just see if we're still alive. Nothing exploded. All right, still alive. Oops. 
I've actually got tutorial notes somewhere else. Um, but I kind of want to put them together here. I guess technically this needs to be over here. Actually, we'll highlight it, even though that isn't going to work as great with the things, but that's all right. That makes sense to me, not to anybody else. So we did our URL stuff two pages ago, right? My site URLs. Okay, so. So we've got our view. We've got our template, we've got our view. Now we need to do, oh, that was weird. Yeah, and didn't it? Yeah, I guess it was okay. I feel like something they gave you in a weird order and it like, it broke for a little bit or something. Views index, right? All right, so I'm just gonna put this code in to start with and then we'll figure it out as we go through it. So, oh, you gotta make the URLs page. Pages. Example pages. URLs. Py. And then this is where we change this. I don't know. Something about the reading of stuff too is just like. Can't. Can't. Look out. Well, that was weird. The way that I have the towel look like an arm, and it kind of like freaked out for a second because it I read as a person like up in the corner for a second. That messed with me. Uh, update. all that stuff yeah I got through and yeah Uh, 
may not be right. Somehow I got it to hit the home page a second ago. So we're gonna have to go. I probably shouldn't have blown all that shit away, but whatever. Ah, that's how you do it. That the notes are like I've got the notes all over the place, but um let's do this. So that's got our URLs, it's got our paths, we've got our template. Are we ready? Oh, pages. Should be posts. No, pages. Wait, what? Somehow you gotta call it, you gotta get pages in there, it's not included somehow. Include polls URLs. Oh, come on. How do we do it? Also, in toolkit URLs, add this path to URL patterns. Events at URLs, right? Oh wait, homepage isn't the thing. I called it, did we build that page? We just called it index, didn't we? Is that right? Pages is not fine. Okay, so that's still not helping. Uh, let's see. At this path, which is really this, URL patterns. This worked earlier. Make URL pages. Somehow you got to call that in. URLs. This is URLs. Okay. So we've got that path from. All right. Let's go back here. Uh, let's see, inc they're including it. I didn't include it. Where is. All right. It's funny, I don't really remember doing the treehouse scores. See, this is from 2017 and Django won something. I just want to see if I can find it through my notes. Build the homepage, manage pages, installed app pages. 
why didn't pages apps pages config so it's there why didn't it like it here from pages in port views uh okay i wonder if that's what it is but it's a different so now i'm going to look at that where's that that's probably not the right way it's probably not the from pages import views in let's see what this does Oh, it was working. I had it working. I had it working. Uh, that's okay. Well, here, whatever. Uh, creating your homepage. Oh, see, I didn't even make it that far. Oh, wait, this is not the official. Is this the official docs? No, I mean, this is on. Creating a skeleton website. This is different. Yeah, they've got their own thing here. I'm gonna go through the, oh, look at this. Way more testing, or way more example stuff. Creating a skeleton website, Django admin, creator homepage. So why don't you do that first? We create your skeleton website. We updated your URL to ensure that whenever you roster a catalog, it receives your all. Right. So your all patterns catalog include catalog URLs, right? We also created a placeholder file for URL comp module named catalog URLs. Add the following line to that file. Catalogs. Wait, I already did this in our, so this goes in our pages. So we've got that. Got it. Path function defines following. You know, then just gonna us in detail. I'll view there is render. Paste this at the bottom bottom. Fetch a bunch of stuff. Template, extending templates, book library, where do we call the file? Index template, referencing static files and templates, okay. Linking. I missed the part where we actually hooked it up or wired it up. Okay, so we're all maps. We're no data. Blah blah blah. Created the website. We located it. We updated that to ensure that whenever your catalog hits that, the following code snippet from the plug provider includes the catalog's URL. Right.
Oh, this isn't the homepage for the site, though. This is the homepage for... Uh, what's my thing? name homepage. From pages, import views. And structure URLs, this is the same thing. How do you... I just have a homepage with Django. Tango for beginners. Run server. Eek. Doesn't print pretty well. You're all patternless URLs. Yep. Add an import for my function. Add a URL. Use him. dot import views. I wonder if this is already called in. Doesn't seem like that should work. Like, well, let's see if views is alive. Not the right thing. Doesn't like uh, those things or those things. Always fun when you get automatic. Views is not defined, right? Okay. How's pages not defined? Because you shouldn't have to call everything, right? I can actually read this. Add an import from my app import views. Okay. No. Okay, function views. Okay, that's a function view. Okay. Read the documentation. Class based views. Add an import from other app views import home, including another URL conf. Import include function from Jaguar yep. add a URL to URL patterns path log include well so I guess you could just do the home page uh, so and if we do nothing and then do pages URL, There you go. I'm actually cool with that, right? Because, so let's fix this while we got it. So you, you could do it the other way. You just have to call I don't know 
the name stuff really does, but if we save that. Uh oh, it exploded. No watch on my app, right? Oops, sorry. You probably want pages. Pages is not defined. Shit, see why? From pages. It's right here, right? URLs. Pages is a reserved word. But it should, like, add an import from my app, import views. My app is named Pages. Like, does that pass? That passes. Path. Views.pages. Module pages view has no attribute pages. Oh, it's views. I see what's happening. It's got it as views. That looks like naming collisions waiting to happen. So can you do pages views? No, unless you do Module pages has no attribute views. How'd that work? Uh, and I'm just messing around at this point, right? Um, module pages. Subscriptable. All right, so it's a module. Pages has an attribute index. I'm just curious why that isn't. Because really, it should be namespaced, right? Is what you want to have. Pages, views from pages. Um, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Not the way we want to go, anyways. Or not the way I'm going to go in the notes. So let's back this out. And again, like I maybe this may be the wrong way to do this, but like I haven't seen, I haven't yet found the way that people are doing home pages. And I've looked at three or four, so let's actually see if we can find another one. Oh, come on. Hello, world. Tell Django though, there's a default home page. I want to edit the default home page. Right. Starting an application known as pages. Yep. Drag home pages in the root. Then go to views, add something like this. Home view. After this, go to the main project. What year is this, by the way? 2019. Okay. Edit the file and change to the following. From pages.views. Oh, okay. Uh, this is actually 
bad because he's only making one view here and then talking about three other ones. Pages views. So you could do it. From home view, home. I don't get the two of these. Yeah, because I kind of don't want to send all Yeah, I, I, I do just want to have the one the one page. I don't want to have the include here. So or I don't want to include the full URL set. the name of the path is for I'll figure that out I'm tempted to edit this just because like because he puts these three in but then he doesn't reference the other ones here Confusing. I'm not gonna mess with it right now. We're gonna do this. Cause I wanna I wanna be explicit about the target. So home view views request pages and I think that's a template, right? Uh pages home page and we can just call it home page oh, I guess you could so you could call down into that which does make sense right Yeah, this is. I, I'm okay with this. Uh, delete that back out. So if nothing, if if the top has nothing in it, throw it to pages, and that should mean. Let me see if I if I'm making sense of this. Um, so first. Nothing there. Yeah, I don't know what the name index stuff is yet. Back up. Oh, uh, I kind of want to go through that big Mozilla tutorial. Mozilla, Mozilla. You say Mozilla. I say, Mozilla, I am tired. A lot of coding stuff today. Uh, what am I doing? I'm right here. I'm including. That's working. So if I come here, okay, so this, let me just make sure I've got all this stuff documented, right? So we put our include call in. We change that to call that. Even better, how about that? 
So we don't need this. We don't need this. Pages.homepage. See, how did this work? homepage okay so let's I want to see if I can get that to work but the pages wasn't working I just I want to see if I can understand what was happening there because I think those were the notes that I got working the day. Uh, maybe it was this yeah from pages in point I think that's how I did it. I shouldn't have deleted all that stuff I was Aggressive. Okay, uh, but so now if I understand it, what we should be able to do, since that's getting passed, we don't need our settings anymore. Like we've got the app installed, it's here. That's our top level. Here's our views. Def index request return render render. Request. So if we do that. And then we come here and we go like that. And then we make a new file. This is a boot. Save. Templates and pages, pages. About HTML, save. What happens if we go there? Oh, I exploded something. Views, pages has no attribute about. Start over. Still now. Oh. Try that. Okay. That's a good warning. Don't do that. And now, about. Okay. I got a decent sense of what's going on now. Uh, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. So that's how to get the homepage up, right? So we did. We made our template. Made our view that calls the template. Yeah, the only the only thing that's different about so this takes one more step. Cause in the official Django tutorial they just did the the call out here, the render call out or whatever. Which I don't know, maybe that's worth doing to, to put in that. But no, I like I want it like the page is like getting where the page is is part of the thing. So like it's it takes a minute, but I think it, I I like this one. Like I can go either way on that one. This this is where we're going to go for now. Uh
So got our template, updated our view that points to the template, set up our top level URL or our lower level URLs that point to the view that points to the template. See, I like the I like the stack of this. Um, and then update the top level that points to the lower level that points to the thing that points to the thing. That's it. Your home. Your home page is there. Huzzah. Uh... And so now, just to get a little bit more of a bearing, we should make the about page. So all we had to do to make that was say so build the temp, put the template, Pages to the top of the right. Sure, if you should put a, I, if I remember right, you're supposed to put the last one at the bottom, the empty one at the bottom. No, oh, actually, we should have done views. So we, again, I like building, build the template, add this to, so yeah. Now we need to update the 
view to point to the template we just made. Add. Do that. Add this to your example pages use pi file. Am I doing the right? Oh. I guess I'll just copy all this over. I'm doing this on the wrong stream notes. I meant to do it on this one. Oops. Oh well. To do. Put in a note about the idea of. There's a down arrow. There's a down and oh V. You can use V, right? Uh what's above template? View. Details about square logic and DB connections happen. Put in details about where rendering happens. That's cool. Oh, not found. Oh, I changed the URL. That's right. Uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yep, totally meant to make that. It's fine, because like it was going to be weird to have it in two different places anyways. But uh, Actually, I should make uh, let's see, you can help me with something. Bootstrap developer Django backend. I'm trying to live stream on Facebook. Unfortunately, I'm using VPN to connect to the database. That's Black OBS to connect to the server. Do you have any idea how I can solve that problem? Bootstrap developer for Django. I'm trying to make a live stream on Facebook. Using a VPN to connect the database. And that's black. Oh, black on OBS? You lost me a little bit on that last sentence. 
Oh, that blocks OBS to connect to Facebook Live Server. I, I'm new to this. I don't know. Um, so if you've got to get, yeah, because the VPN's gonna gonna eat your network connection, and so the VPN's blocking you your connection to Facebook, right? Um, How would you solve that? The only way I can think of is to somehow proxy OBS to some place that would then proxy back to Facebook, but that's, uh, yeah, you that may be a really hard thing to jump over. Um, now something something you might be able to do is how I guess it depends on how big your database is but if it's just like a couple tables you could potentially throw dump your database like if it's postgres or whatever just like dump the tables that you need and just run it locally on uh a mysql database or not mysql um well any local database but like uh, sql lite so you could throw it into the dev server Maybe, uh, it's about all I can think of, um, to, to get your data onto your machine instead of having to go through, uh, to the database connection would be the, the only way, other way that I can think of. Um, yeah. Or if you've got a jump box that you can talk to, that can then talk to the database, uh, would be another way. But like, if you don't have that set up already, you're probably not going to set it up tonight. <laughs> uh, now that's, that's all I got. Uh, good, good luck. Uh, let me know if you figured out or if it works, uh, and shoot me a link where you're, uh, where you're, where you're streaming. We'll swing by and say hi. So good luck. Uh, and we're off. Oh, that's a tricky one. VPNs. And I'm guessing work VPNs if you can, uh, if you can't talk to stuff. Um, but that's the way security goes sometimes. Crazy security people. Uh, all right, let's see what's going on. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna move the tutorial to zone. Yeah, so actually, I'll, what I'll do is I'll I'll set this up so the stream notes will just be stream notes, and I'll actually put the tutorial on its own thing, so it doesn't because it doesn't need to have all the um the thing. I'd, actually, what I could do is put up uh I could actually make like a, a explicit video of it not one of these where i'm all over the place but like a like hey this is a how-to which i've been thinking about doing how to so yeah why not but i think this is this is helpful for me like i didn't i didn't get my head around this until doing this tutorial right until writing this stuff up um and then walking through that stack like that's just not something that that came up through any of this stuff i'm on the wrong page well, I've got a lot, or a lot of wrong pages here. Uh, I can probably keep this one open. Uh, pages. It's funny. I can't, I did pages, and then it's funny to see everybody else do pages because it's really obvious. Ooh, interesting. Config settings tell Django location of your templates directory. This is different. Pages views. Import template view. Import path include. Include pages URLs. See how do they get that? Oh wait, do, no, they're including it. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh. From dot views import homepage view. Homepage has view. As view at the end of the name. We're done. This seems more tricky. A 
why wouldn't you do it under pages? I'm lost a little bit in this. I may need to look at this one again. I'm going to close that one. I don't understand it. Yeah, I'm actually going to not put these in notes just because it's not the way that I ended up doing it. So I think this is the one that helped me, maybe. So I'll leave that one open. And then the, this one I'll leave in just because this looks really interesting. Um, whoops. Oh, these, I just, does not work for my brain, I guess is what it is. Um, I hope they aren't losing people who would otherwise really dig Django because they can't jump through the tutorial, but that's happened to me before. It's the reason I haven't been using Django is because it was just like banging my head against the wall. Um, and craziness too. Uh, okay, so let's see what we got going on now is this. I'll walk through this. My, we don't need to go through it again right now. Um, but I'll walk through this again and make sure that like all the steps are legit uh, and that it makes sense to go through. Um, yeah, and clean this up. Like, you know, just do the cleanup on it. We don't need to watch the cleanup, cleanup on stream. Um, so, but now let's actually figure out how to... So I'm still confused why that, I think it worked and then it didn't. Uh, but yeah, so that's, I want a homepage. Like, make, give me a homepage first. Let me see something. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Nice. I dig it. Took a little while to get there, but that's all right. Yeah, a bunch of that stuff is just setting up the stack for the pages. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is all getting the, you know, it's all prep. And so it's like... Yeah, so if we if we split it out a little bit more, it'll work. And that thing still looks like something just standing there. Um, all right, so now let's actually make a page with some data on it. And so this is where also I want to go through the pain of this tutorial so that nobody else has to go through the pain of this tutorial. <laughs> I'm sorry, whoever wrote this. Like, it just, it feels, I it feels like if you know what you're doing, it makes a lot of sense, but like, it, I don't. Also, I'm thinking about the idea of like footnotes in tutorials. So like don't don't put the big blocks of explanatory text in front of me. Like put it in a way that I could jump to it and see it on the side, maybe. Um I'm not gonna have these. Path argument. See, like this is like
so the path function is past four parameters, two required and two optional. Like this is the second page of the template or the maybe the third one. Maybe the first one, is this the first page? Like, I, you're explaining everything. Don't. Okay. Creating models. Okay, now we'll define our models. Essentially your database layout with additional metadata. Okay. Philosophy. Models a single defendant source of truth. Contains essential and behavior storing. Yep. Django files a drive principle. Yep. Goals to find your data model in place. So I'm going to drive things from it. Yep. Migrations. Blah, blah, blah. And our poll will create two models. This is the other thing I have a problem with. Start with one. A choice has two fields. Blah, 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 blah. These concepts represent Python. Edit the polls models like so. Um. So we're going to do, we're going to try one. This may not work. Attempt one. Checklist. So from Django DB import models, we're putting this in models. All right. Models model question text. All right, we're actually just gonna do, we're gonna try this first. Oh, actually, let's... Yeah, this is the pages. Let's not do it here. Let's make a new thing. Project, run server, start up. Checklist. Gray. the models uh, and so Separate model. Each has a number of classes. Each represents a data field. Each field is represented in a field. Char field, whatever. Still trying to type of data. Image field instance. Question type. Actually, we should do this. Um, Groovy. 
checklist. So this is a check uh, question. Checklist item. Field instance, yeah, you can use the optional first parameter argument to field to designate a human readable name. Let's use a couple introspective Django and doubles his documentation. Field isn't provided, Django is machine readable. This example will be only defined a human readable name for the question. For other fields in this model, the field's machine readable will suffice as human readable name. Let's make these explicit. If the fields, to use a couple of, uh, you can use an optional first position argument to field. Designate a human readable name. Let's see if that works. Field has requirement. Try field requires to give them an axe length. It's not only a database schema, but in the validation, as we'll soon see, can have other stuff. In this case, we'll set default votes to zero. Okay, we're not going to mess with any of this yet. Uh, activating models. Uh, finally, in a relationship using foreign keys. See, this is like, don't start with foreign keys. But first we need to tell our project that the polls app is installed. We're just now getting to this? Wait, does that mean that you don't have to have installed app? No way, that's right. Uh, where am I going? Checklist, example, example. Settings, URLs? No, settings. No way, right? Wrong server. Template doesn't exist. Oh, sorry. Everybody cool. Everybody cool. Yeah, okay. So I, that is a weird place. Also, my ears are ringing weird. It's just allergy stuff. Try the other headphones. Monitoring AW Amazon SNS topics with CloudWatch. All right, good stuff. All right, let's see. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, my, this ear is stuffed. It's making me like. Eh. All right, cool. We're here. Yeah, hang on. Uh, pages. Wait, this isn't how I did it though. Um, see, I don't want to. I don't want to add pages to the notes that aren't what I did. I guess, I don't know, because like some of it's what I messed around with. I don't know. Yeah, why not leave it open? What else do we have open? Anything? 
Yeah, we'll just open them all back up. See how far back in time we go. Ooh, actually, I can't go too far back in time. Because you'll start hitting work. Okay, we're okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The treehouse one, I went through it. But I like, I don't know. Also, it was a weird time in life, so who knows. Uh, creating models. Whatever. We're back. That's not the page we're on. Yeah, it is. See, like, I, I need none of this right now. Just give me some code to push in. Let me run it and then talk about it. You already did this. I don't understand why it's here. Uh, or maybe I like it. Maybe the first time in this tutorial that that's happened. It's just it threw me. So stuff this is just getting the structures down so this is models under checklist right Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't actually, so I did the pages. I didn't do the, uh, uh, what's your thing? Checklist. Oh, and actually, where did they put, see, they put it up top. See what happens. Lots of things exploded. Uh, pages config. Oh, wait. Choices are checklist config. Aha. So that's an important note. Add that. Add this to uh, example, example settings. Oh, wait. I may have a surprise. I do. If I remember to do it. Uh, so we've done that. We did our migrations. Not found. 
I'm um, gonna leave open. Give a second close. Checklist second close. Treehouse tracks, whatever, it's fine. Here we go. Make migrations. Got it. So I can check out that you made some changes. This gives me new ones. Sort migrations. Migrations, that's how migrations work. There's a command line that will run the migrations for you and migrate the manager database scheme automatically. It's called migrate. We'll have that in a moment. But first, let's see with the SQL. See, like, don't fucking undo that. Like, the amount of text in between here and here should be about that much. I mean, I'll make it bigger, but you get the point. Okay, that's a good sign. Like, all this stuff is good and interesting once you know what you're doing, but like... And now playing with the API and the shell? Like, no. No, no, no. I'm not here for a command line. Wait a minute, question object one isn't helpful presentation. Let's fix that by the question model by adding a string method. All right, we may come back to that, but if we do it, we're not going to add it. We're going to just throw it all in there to start with. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, create the super user. We're actually going to do this first so that the stuff that we're doing is in order and when we're working on it, it makes sense. Create your, your super, super user. See, if I was really into this, I would have uh, like graphics and stuff. password is going to be this is for an example uh, still gonna put it in my password manager Django example So I use one of those random things and like, sometimes they're just kind of funny. Let's see if this works. Hopefully that worked. That's kind of freaks me out, basting and it doesn't, you don't see anything. Like it'd be nice if it gave you dots. Super user created successfully. Right. Admin example like, um, uh, password, yep. Whatever. Follow the prompts. Uh, let's start the development server and explore it. If the server's not running and you like it, just be running. Do the thing. I used to have a uh, quick key set up for that, or like a alias. I am probably close to getting another one of those set up because I'm doing that a lot. Hello world. See, that's so much nicer when you go and you hit the home page and it's there. All right. I think it's already off the clipboard.
Huh. Look longer on the uh, thing. Why is my thing there? Probably got to do something to it to get it there. If I was a thinking man. Close that. Close that. Close that. Ready method. Uh, the order of install apps doesn't seem to affect when the models are created. Django figures out that certain models depend on others. Yeah, I'm gonna nuke that one. Don't need that. Try Django tutorial 12. Default homepage to custom. It just blows me away that that's like 12. Did I close the, uh, did I close it? Might have closed it. No, I just blew past it. Entering the admin site. Right, right, right. Make the poll app application mod file in the admin. Okay, but well, where's our poll app? That's what I was wondering. Only one thing we do. We tell the... See, this I don't have as much a problem with. Like, here's a default thing, and now we're gonna do this thing and immediately see it. Um... So polls admin, which is not going to be polls admin, it's going to be checklist admin. Is there an admin there? So we've migrated on the server and look at admin, what you want. Oh, actually what you should do is do this back here. Open the admin so you can see it. Open admin that you're already familiar with. That our checklist isn't there. To get it to show up. See, I'm gonna I'm introducing it earlier, and then you're familiar with it coming back and looking at it in one state, and then we're gonna change it. Uh, to get it to show up. Add. The calls to um, whatever admin.py. Um, this is notes, so I'll get the notes. Like, uh, and checklist admin pi. So that it, so that the full file looks like this. See if I got it right. Explore the admin function. Explore the free admin functionality, yeah. Um, now that we wrote your question, Jack knows it should be displayed on the admin page, blah, blah, blah. Question, yeah, see there's like all this other crap here. It's like, start slow, folks. So here is our admin. Let's put this over here. Let's put this over here. Let's refresh that. Oh. Sad face. Checklist from checklist models. Uh, I can't remember checklist. What do I call it? Checklist item. Import checklist item from models. Okay. How about that? You happy? Whoa. Is it working? Uh, show me baseball. Got nothing. There we go. Uh, ooh, I'm almost.
almost off screen. Look at that. Checklist items. Now, refresh the page. Get a guest expert for the live streams. Safe. Migrate your launch pad. Tools site to Django. See, like, I mean, it's whatever. Uh, stream notes. Oops. Oh, wait, on the other one. And we're on the other one. And we're on the other one. There we go. So you want to split the page. You want to split this into a couple pages. But like I'll, I mean, obviously I'll take this over the other one because I made this one. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I like it. We'll see. And like it's, it's a lot of step by step, but I dig it. Like this is what kind of makes sense to me, obviously, because that's how I'm doing it. But Trying to put myself back in the frame of it. Uh, cool. All right, so that's got that. Let me see what I want to do now. Um, so do we want to show... Check this item object. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, here's, okay. I just want to fix this and then we can explain it. this, I think, right? There we go. Now, where do we get question text from? Something like that? Yeah. Whoops. Probably here. Nope. Here. And let's see if that makes these turn into actual text. It does. Okay. So you just just do that to start with, and then say, and then explain the parts. Yeah, I could almost I could almost argue to to take that and show it in another place, but like Yeah, okay, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Like this is this is an explanation. Like this is fine. Uh
example checklist models. Whoops. That's okay. Like this, this I don't mind this one. Um, Cause like we've, we've made some progress and this is, we kept it really small with what we were putting in there to start with. And then it's like, oh, we've, we're taking a look at this and now we can go back and actually do a little bit of work. Like it's, it's I'm okay with that. That makes sense. Um, Cause it's, it's, it feels right, I guess. I don't know. Um, That's funny because, like, with this, most of the time, I'm just going to be in the admin interface. I don't need anything super whatever. All right, quick break. Be right back. In the meantime, I'll leave you with this. Oh, you're not going to hear the music. Oh, maybe you'll. I'm gonna get a copyright strike for that. Um, that was the hamster dance. I should have those just spinning all the time and then make like my own version of the music or something. I don't know. I'll be right back.
zero. So refreshing. I'm a beginner to Zang to Django. I'm a beginner the third time. Third time beginner? Multi time? Beginner? I don't know. Uh let's go on the music. It's very quiet. Or something. I hear it just barely. Hopefully I got the music last one of the last times I did one of these I had the music a little hot. Hopefully that's not the case this time. So now how do we see it? That's it. That's it for this section. Oh, yep. So, do, 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 do. now let's get it on a display page. It's funny, it's that Mozilla thing. If I'd gone through it, it probably would. Like, I just I have a feeling that one's going to be pretty solid. And I will go through it, as a matter of fact. Uh, to learn how to add more views to our polls app. Okay. Review. So we use web page. For example, blog application might have all the following. Yeah, we're not doing blogs. Index detail results vote action. Django web page is another content delivered by views. Each view is represented by a Python function. Or method in the case of class bit. Okay. Django. Yep, to be precise, part of the URL is after the domain name, yeah. Let's see. Writing more reviews. Oh, let's throw a bunch of them at the same time. Uh, these are slightly different because they take an argument. Wait a minute, do we have a view already that just shows... Just shows the pages? Right views that actually do something like Jane. Okay, here we go. What? What's going on with this? We just did all that stuff. Take a look in your browser at polls before it run detailed method on the turn request a page, jangle load, okay. But now okay. I just I don't get this. I'm sorry, I will stop saying that at some point when I'm done with this. If you're gonna be records from a database or not. Can use a template system or a third party or not. It can generate a PDF. It can do a lot of stuff. Okay, cool. Got it. All Django wants is an HTTP response or an exception. Oh, this is where we get to that. It gives you the response and then you get to the exception. All right, so let's let's think about how we're gonna do this. So, and I don't know, I'm not really seeing them do this here. There's no 404 templates, shortcut 404, like. and templates, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we use the URLs? Let's just see if we can make something happen here and have something show up. So, 
And I don't see... Okay. Write these new views into polls model. Okay, this is where it is. Yeah, so we actually want to. So I want to start with a template. Which I'm just going to start with a basic template now. That was the wrong button. So we're an example, we're in checklist. We've got to make templates. Can you do that? Does that work? I'm really surprised it let me put that slash in there. So let's get our checklist to show up. Templates or templates? Templates. Django example. Oops. Pages. Templates. Checklist. Templates. Oh, I can get rid of this. Maybe if it let me delete it. Hey, let me delete it. Yes. Stuff is all so bright. God. I think that light's gonna have to go. <sighs> Need to get that infrared camera. Uh, yeah, that one's gonna go. At least turn the other one on. We got that. Oh, better. Still scalding my eyes. Um, or it scalded. It's not bad when the monitor's white, but like if it goes all dark, it gets all funky or like just keeps going. Uh, but say, let me. It will be okay. All right. Templates. Index HTML, I think is what we called it, right? With. Cool. So we got our template. Now we need to get our view pointing to the template. So here's views. And I'm going to cheat and look at pages views. I just called it checklist singular, didn't I? Yep. Probably should have called it checklist. To do. Go back and make checklist app. Where? 
checklists. CHEs, why is that not? Oh, it doesn't like the tick. Okay, whatever. Everything's still happy. Oh, fave icon's missing. As a wait. So that's that. Update. Add the new call so that So it doesn't look like I swear the volume stuff, man. Okay, that's up. Uh, I'm just chill at this point. Yeah. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Uh, okay, so we got our template and we got our views. Now we're gonna get our URL. And so we're gonna go look at our URLs for checklists. which we're gonna copy from here. Cause we gotta make it. I think this is gonna work. So we're gonna go to checklist, we're going to urls.py. needs to be at the end like I yeah, this is one of those where I would prefer it not to be there but I think it's probably gonna maybe put it there itself I don't know let's see what happens whatever let's just see what happens do we get enough in to make that happen checklist checklist page not found oh uh, yeah interesting so that works, but it doesn't have the slash. I wonder if it goes the other way. Yeah, it, re it redirects you into it, so it does want the slash. Okay, that's the safest way to do it. I like visually. I don't like the slash at the end, but that's I fought against that for years, and it's I could still, but I'm not going to. Energy is better spent other places, but that's got it.
struggling. Example, checklist, templates, checklists, indexed HTML to Following code of the template for question in latest question list. What is the latest question list? Context list question list. Return. See, how do I just do basic shit? Like, I just want to output the page or the links, whatever, the, or the content. Like, but this latest. Question for question and latest question list. Latest question list equals question list. Template loader, loader get templates. Never heard about this before. Context that return response template render context request. Jesus. Shortcut to render. Shortcut render, right. Thought we saw that earlier. Latest question list. Context, latest question list equals ways. Okay, so that's where you pass the context to it. Okay, that I understand. I get that. That was not at all clear. For, like, I need to explain that because this was not at all clear to me. But um, so here, really, checklist views. Let's close all this stuff for now. Checklist views. So from models, checklist item, that's what we called it. Everybody still happy? Looks like it. Okay, so you got to do a query. So this is views, right? Objects ordered by minus pub date five. I'm not going to order it. The checklist equals, now it's going to blow up right now. Checklist item objects. Data to pass to the template. Let's actually just see if we can get this working first. Right? Render request something in context, right? Does this work? does not match any out what uh, 
checklist index HTML context. Where's the checklist? Unindent does not match any outer indentation level. Made a new thing. I don't have a good way to run tests on this stuff yet, or like, I don't have a good, my head's not around it yet. Just delete all that crap over here. Are we gonna work? Who knows? Context equals this. So now we're passing the context to it. Okay, got that. We'll clean up later. Where is my loop? Latest question list. If question, okay, so we know that's gonna be there. So here's what we wanna have. This. What's our N? So there's our N4, okay. Sure, we can make this an ordered list. For checklist item. Oh, I should have made that checklist items, plural. Let's do that. Yeah, chess checklist item, whatever. It's fine. Checklist items. How do we print something? So print. I'm just gonna do checklist item in general. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, that works still. 
Wah wah. So our checklist is not defined. Uh, yeah, I changed it. Apparently not everywhere. Not here. Not there, I didn't. What you got now? Well, it didn't break. Let's just put a little something in here so we can actually see it if there's something there. There's nothing there. Okay. Oops. Ah, sorry. It's not as loud as I thought it might have been. So four checklist items and checklist items. What if we just print? I guess that's print. This just to make sure we're really there. Make a mega boulder. Yes. Okay. So we're there. Uh, let's do this. See shows up. Nothing. Nothing shows up. That's interesting. Passing the context. Call and checklist. That's a request. The checklist is not what we're passing anymore. It's called checklist items. Oh, busted, busted, busted. Manager object is not iterable, iterable, iterable. All right, so let's back off of this, back off of this, do this, and just see what happens. I just want to get something showing up. There we go, SDF, okay. Now we can work with it. So checklist items, was that the problem? No, it still works. Where is the this page? Question objects. I'm just gonna copy all that for right now. I don't know if there is a pub date is the only trick with this. there. Now it's exploded. Manager object is not subscriptable. Well, then don't subscript it. Oops. Manager object is not iterable. I'm guessing other people have run into this. Objects all. Okay, let's try that. Hello. I don't know why. Let's. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Because we're just printing out the that stuff as a test. There you go. Actually, we can drop this because it's in line item. Just using that to see if we could see things show up. Could have guessed that expert for the live streams. Migrate. That's pretty cool. Only took a few hours. And like I've got a much better understanding of how this works than going through a lot of Django stuff that or the official stuff. Like I was just too much. 
for my tired old brain. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Especially because I'm doing it at night and I'm just realizing like I'm kind of already fried. Or not when it's 30, so. Um, yeah, see now, now you can take this and then you can go, okay, now let's actually add another view that's like editing the question or linking to the thing or like whatever, like more details um, and build on it that way so that you can actually get, you can keep touching things and get more information about how they work. Yeah, this could be a little tutorial. Uh, that's cool. So what didn't I do? So I need to update that with the proper code. It's right there. And I just make sure updating the checklist index. Yeah, so that's the template. And pass the data to it with this. In the views. No, oh, wait. Whoops. I was silly. I did the wrong thing, didn't I? Oh. All right. That was the views. This is the. Yeah, now it's just adding explanation and all this stuff, um, and then can kind of keep can keep building on it uh, to figure out where to do stuff. But like this makes sense to me, obviously, because I wrote it, and that's well, that's one of the dangers with this stuff, right? Is if you're right, if like if you write it, it makes perfect sense to you because you're in your own head when you're when you're doing it. Um, so I'll go through this. I, I won't. I don't know. I'm not going to spend time on stream going through it, but I'll go through this a couple times, uh, working my way through it, trying to put myself in the headspace of somebody who's new to this, um, and writing it up, cleaning it up, polishing it, and all that other stuff. We we won't do that on stream because that's that's just more editing stuff than making stuff. Um, and this this probably wasn't the the greatest of stream stuff, but it was like. I've got time to do this and I've got time to stream. So like, let's do it. And like, I don't know, hopefully people will learn something off of it. I don't know, we'll see. I, I, I don't like this dismissive stuff. I need to stop that. Or I'm stopping that. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, 350 lines. Once you take out all the double spaces and you know, I can clean up some lines here and like, This song is another one that comes on all the time. Uh, here, let's see if we can get up to three. Ooh, did that just update something? No, okay. Every now and then you click a button and it like it look it flashes like it's doing something and you're like oh crap. I don't know if I just erased everything or not. All right, we're probably at three fifty now. What do you think? Eh, maybe one more. Hey, we got it. Three hundred fifty lines, and that's including all this junk up here. Yeah, so it's about 300 lines. You can probably push it down to 300 lines. Uh, actually, it's gonna be a lot longer than that when I put in all the explanation. And so, yeah, and so the other trick is like footnotes or like pop-out notes, I think would be a good way to do that. And so maybe I should look at like little expansion things for like note cards. Cause it's like, I, I just, having those giant walls of text is not, helpful for me uh and i think not helpful for a lot of people but so like because it's like you i really want to focus on the one thing that i need to worry about that should be this like atomic piece of thing and then from there answer the questions that i might have about it or give me information about it but don't try and and push all that stuff out at the same time um and because that's that's what that feels like a little bit um and it's it's a tough it's a tough thing to do like 
Uh, absolutely. Like, I'm not, I'm not belittling the effort. No, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not trying to knock the, like, the, the attempts. To, like, it's hard to do. Like, I'm not trying to put, like, oh, it's easy or whatever. Like, belittle the effort that goes into that, I guess would be a good way to say that. Um, because I get it. It's tough. Um, 10.30. Trying to figure out if I want to do anything else tonight. Uh, I kind of... I kind of do, I kind of don't. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to totally get started on anything, and I'm also a little fried. Um, I may I may play around with this. Actually, what I may do is go cut some GIFs. Um, yeah, I think that's actually what I'm going to do, is just put on some music and cut some GIFs. So uh, check back in a few minutes if you want to see that. And other than that, uh, have a good one. We'll see you on the next stream. Uh, be kind.